Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Faux show really plays on contemporary artists um, dealing with trompe l'oeil. Um, so you'll see in the exhibition um, all sorts of pieces that sort of fool your eye and they're either doing that through painting or through material. To look at these pieces, they're very realistic, you can relate to them on many different levels, um, but really was that play on materials and realism. So there's a, there's a sense of realism in all the pieces, some of them more than others, some of them are really meant to fool your eye, some of them are sort of meant to trick you in sort of what they're made with. Um, and that's the the whole scope for the show. When I was trying to figure out what I was going to paint next, it dawned on me to paint the things that are right in front of me all the time. So it's something that people walk by all the time, but never really get a chance to see. I always think it's funny when people have to like go search out things that I think are beautiful because they're right there if you look at them close enough. I am colorblind. So I decided to remove, remove color out of it. I'm not like black and white colorblind, I'm red, green color, so like red and green look identical to me. I'm definitely a painter, <laughs> but as you can see in the paintings, I make sculptures as well, which are pretty um, flimsy or not really professional, so to speak, and then I paint them. I build those um, cons little constructions out of cardboard and tape and glue, and uh, then I paint them. Stuff I always wanted to do when I was little and I didn't have the skill, now I can just go for it and do it and just create whatever world I want to create. I started making drawings of my studio wall and um, so that's a, that's a drawing of a real thing that exists on my studio wall. After I make a painting there's usually a bunch of holes in the wall and a bunch of level lines and instead of just simply reproducing the, what I saw on the wall, there's an actual hole in the painting. So there are painted holes in the painting but there's actually a real hole in the painting as well. So it's a bit of a play, which in a way is what the whole show, the faux show is about. In a technique I developed, I destroy part of the photographic image and I substitute it with lace and cement. I wanted to be a photographer, but I felt that I could, I wanted more for my imagery and my painting. So then I kind of made this hybrid where it's not only a representation of the material, but it's the material themselves. Phineas is made out of uh, uh, resin, plastic resins. I used to work in uh, plastic injection molding. And uh, when a mold is taken off, they have to purge all the plastic that was once in it. And that's Phineas's body. The head is a beaver skull uh, with wooden eyes and stuff like that. And the legs are hand sculpted out of FEMO. Counterculture has now become the popular. That's what lowbrow is. It's the stuff that you know is handmade, you know is art. It's, it's cool as hell, but it's not hanging in the Louvre. I was trying to think of a way to tell a story in the most simplest way possible. So I removed the Barbie dolls from any specific setting, which is why it's mostly a plain, a plain background and just combining them with like these simple objects and pose and lighting and dress and have the viewer figure out the story from there. The smallest painting with the egg. It's a little tongue-in-cheek because my medium is egg tempera so I have the Barbie pose with the little egg. Ken is on my big list of to-dos. Yes, I will use Ken. 